Good day, everyone. Today we're going to discuss the share sale of share capital on subscription basis. The sale of no stated value per share on subscription basis is recorded in the same manner as that of share capital with a par value or with stated value stated value stock except that the entire subscription price is credited to the share capital account pareho lang din ng, uh, <clears throat> ng ordinary issuance of share of stock uh, we have this problem on june 3 2022 the happy corporation received subscription for 5,000 share of its no par no stated value, ordinary share capital at five at 15 pesos, a down payment of 25% was received and the balance was his, and the balance was paid in full on July 4, 2022. The entries to record the transaction using the memorandum entry. A bit ordinary share capital subscription receivable 75,000 or credit ordinary share capital subscribe 75,000. 5,000 shares at 15 pesos. Or on, on duty also, there was 25% payment. Therefore, cash should be recorded. Debit cash, 18,750. Ordinary share capital subscription receivable, 18,750. So, or you can make a compound entry. Kasi itong uh, ordinary share subscription receivable, na nakakredit at itong ordinary share receivable na nakadebit, eh pwede na nating pag-isahin. So, 75,000 minus 18,700. We have 56,250 na lang. So, we, journal, we use this compound entry to record the transaction. Debit cash, 18,500. 18,750 for the 25% down payment. Ordinary share capital subscription receivable will now be 56,250. And the ordinary share capital subscribed remained 75,000. On June 4, the balance was paid. So the entry would be debit cash, 56,250 for the balance and credit close is ibuburahin na natin yung subscription receivable for the balance so we credit ordinary share capital subscription receivable 56,250 now we're going to record the issuance of share of stock so we debit the ordinary share capital subscribe and credit ordinary share capital for the 75,000 when when the share capital issued have no par value and no stated value, only the memorandum entry can be used in recording the stock transaction. And no par value, no stated value, memorandum entry lang. Hindi na tayo mag the journal entry method. Okay. We have here the subscription by defaults. So when a subscriber fails to pay his subscription on the call date, the corporation sends several notices to remind him of his obligation. If these notices are ignored by the subscriber, his subscription is declared delinquent. The delinquent subscri subscription is offered for sale in a public auction. So that's, 
the sale of the delinquent subscription is issued to the highest bidder. The highest bidder is the one who is willing to pay the unpaid balance of the of the subscription plus accrued interest plus all expenses related to the sale and willing to receive the smallest number of shares. Once the subscription is fully paid, the subscribed shares are issued. Shares are first given to the highest bidder. The excess are given to the defaulting subscriber. If there is no bidder, all the delinquent shares will be issued in the name of the corporation. Such shares are considered treasury shares. The defaulting subscriber does not get any share of stock. So may mga uh, words to remember tayo, no? Delinquent subscription. It is an unpaid subscription of a subscriber who has been declared in default by a corporation. So that is a delinquent subscription, the unpaid subscription. Highest bidder is a person willing to pay the full amount of the balance of subscription together with accrued interest cost of advertisement and expenses of sale for the number for the smallest or the least number of shares so what is the least or lowest share this refers to the number of shares that the person is willing to pay the balance of the receivable and forgo the number of shares to the defaulted subscriber so i illustrate natin para mas maintindihan nyo Kaila subscribed 100 ordinary shares at 12. Par value is 10, 10 pesos of Panda Corporation. After paying 60% on her subscription, Kaila defaulted. After due process, the shares were declared delinquent. Advertising and other expenses, as well as advances made by the corporation, amounted to 150 pesos. At the public auction, bids from K for 96 shares, Daphne 98 shares, and Aryan 95 shares were received. Aryan was the highest bidder kasi <clears throat> siya yung willing to receive the lowest number of shares. So 96, 98, sa kanya 95 lang. Okay na. So she paid the balance of the unpaid subscription including advertising cost. Aryan will get 95 shares and Kaila will receive 5 shares. So, magkano yung, ano yung illustrate natin yan further, no? Ito yung pro forma entries. Tandaan nyo na itong entrada na to, kasi ito lang naman yung steps. Okay? Subscription, debit, subscription, receivable, subscribe capital or share capital, subscribed, cash, subscri uh, <clears throat> na subscription, so debit natin, subscription, receivable, and credit ang subscribed share capital. Nagkaroon ng partial collection, record the cash, and then we reduce the subscription receivable, so we credit it. Now, the subscriber defaults and the corporation declares the subscription as delinquent. There will be no entry. No? Notice lang yan sa subscriber. Now, cost incurred <clears throat> in connection with delinquency. So, debit receivable from the highest bidder and credit cash. So naka-entrada na lahat sa highest bidder yung ano yung transaction kahit wala pang highest bidder. So nagkaroon ng sale or ng bidding muna, nagkaroon man na ng bidding, wala pang journal entry sa bidding. Ngayon, magkakaroon ng sale and wala pa ring record sa sale. Upon payment na ng highest bidder ang journal entry. So, debit sa cash, credit sa receivable from highest bidder, and credit sa 
subscription receivable. Ito sa um, sa receivable from highest bidder. Magkano yung amount na kukolektahin niya? We will look into that sa ating illustration. Okay. Then after the collection from the highest bidder, issuance of stock certificate. Subscribe capital stock and credit share capital. If there is no highest bidder, all the stocks will go to the treasury. Go back to the corporation and this is called treasury share. So, debit treasury share credit receivable from highest bidder. Subscription receivable credit. And then debit subscribed share capital and credit share capital. So, nabivisualize nyo ba yung pag-ikot-ikot ng share capital? Sinubscribe na bayaran ang ibang portion na default. Inisyo uli sa iba na bayaran. Isyo na ng uh, pinasubscribe sa iba na bayaran. Nag-isyo ng share, uh, share capital. Ngayon, hindi na bayaran at wala rin highest bidder. So, mapupunta ulit pabalik sa corporation. Ang tawag na doon ay treasury shares. So, tatanggalin natin, bubuluhin natin lahat ng record ng receivable from highest bidder at saka subscription receivable. And then, Ika-cancel din natin ang subscribe share capital dahil i-issue na natin ang share capital sa in favor of the corporation. Ang matitira na lang dyan na entrada bali is debit treasury share credit share capital. Okay? So, illustrate natin ito dito. Gamit tayo ng annotation pala. Ito pansiwan. Okay? <clears throat> so, illustrate natin using this problem. On June 15, 20, the Happy Corporation received subscription for 2,000 shares for of its 10 par value ordinary share for 15 pesos. So there was a down payment of 60%. The final payment due on August 15. Although several notices were sent to the subscriber, no payment was received. On August 31, subscription was declared delinquent. On September 6, 500 were incurred in connection with the delinquency sale. On September 21, payment was received from the highest bidder and shares were issued 1,500 to the highest bidder and 500 to the defaulting subscriber. The entry to record the foregoing transaction will be first to record the subscription receivable. 30,000 ordinary share subscribed, 20,000 ordinary premium share, 10,000. Then cash was received 20, 60%. So a bit cash 18,000 and fund credit ordinary share capital subscription receivable 18,000. Then the, uh, the subscriber defaulted. So the entry to record the, uh, to revert back the, uh, the transaction 
par to award the transaction to the highest bidder. Debit receivable from the highest bidder, from highest bidder, 12,000. Credit ordinary share capital. Subscription receivable, 12,000. On September 6, the highest uh, the expenses will be recorded to the highest bidder. So receivable from highest bidder, 500 credit cash. On September 21, i-record na natin yung full payment nila ng highest bidder. 12,000 for the delinquent shares and 500 for the cost of delinquency. So, 12,500. And credit, debit cash, 12,500. And receivable from highest bidder, 12,500. Now, we are going to record the issuance of shares of stocks. Debit ordinary share capital for 20,000. Debit ordinary share capital subscribed 20,000 and ordinary share capital 20,000. So, yung 20,000 na to, uh, 1,500 shares will be issued to to the highest bidder and the 5,000, a 500 will be issued to the defaulting subscriber. Ayan yung mapagkasada. Pero hindi na niya kalagay yan sa ating entry. We will consider the issuance as one lot. Isang lot lang yan. Hindi na i-divide kung sa defaulting or sa uh, sa highest bidder. Sila na bahala maghati uh, doon sa i-issue na lang ng company uh, sa kanila yon according to the uh, to the bidding quoted. Okay? So, uh, wag niyo muna uh, try niyo sagutan ito classroom exercise natin. Tingnan natin kung naintindihan nyo yung discussion dito. So, tatandaan nyo, subscription, may partial payment. So, i-record nyo yung subscription, partial payment, at saka yung uh, balance. Now, after the uh, subs after the subscription with uh, down payment, Yung full payment naman, di ba? So, i-record nyo yung full payment. After the full payment, i-record nyo yung issuance of uh, stock certificate. Kung walang default. Now, kung merong default, dalawang mangyayari. It's either makakuha ng highest bidder or hindi. Kapag nakakuha ng highest bidder, i-record natin yung receivable from the highest bidder. Tapos, kapag nakolekta na natin yung um, pera from the highest bidder, i-record natin yung cash. And then afterwards, i-issue na na natin yung uh, shares of stock in favor of the highest bidder and the defaulting uh, defaulting subscriber. Depende na lang kung ilan ang uh, number of shares na matitira doon sa defaulting subscriber. So, if there is no highest bidder, then the, the shares of stock will be considered as treasury share and will be issued in the name of the corporation. Okay. So, sagutan muna natin tong problem na to. So, you pause the video and answer this problem and let us see kung naintindihan niyo na yung ating discussion tonight on uh, 
subscription of shares of stock. Okay. We'll continue with our discussion on the next video. On topic natin, incorporating um sole proprietorship or a partnership. God bless everyone.